white white bands, and here we go. Now in the ring, four rounds of boxing in the super flyweight division, presented to you by Ed Holmes All Star Boxing. This bout is sponsored in part by KRUZ Radio, Lombardo's Venice Room, and the many fans watching on live streaming Fight TV. Once again, our referee in charge of this bout, Rudy Barragar. And now, introducing to you first, on my right, fighting out of the red corner, he is wearing red and black trunks. He is hailing out of Modesto, California. He weighed in 114 pounds. His record, two wins, two losses, one draw, with one win coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Victor El Torito! His opponent across the ring on my left, fighting out of the blue corner. He is wearing black trunks trimmed in the colors of the Mexican flag. He is training out of United Boxing Academy in Moreno Valley by way of Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico. He weighed in 114 pounds. His record, five wins, three losses with three wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Jonathan Danger Torres! Once again, our referee in charge, Rudy Paragon, to give final instructions. Okay, guys, here we go. Our third bout of the evening against the Torres is. We got Victor. Torito Torres against Jonathan Danger Torres. So let's make sure we got this straight. This is definitely the battle of the brothers, and it's going to be exciting, folks. Battle of the Rising Stars. Jonathan Torres coming out of the blue corner has never fought in the U.S. before. This is his first fight on American soil. He won his last two in Mexico, and he's in here representing tonight United Boxing Academy. Way to go, Jonathan. On the other side, we have Victor Torres, 21, the Torito. You can see him. He's in the red and black trunks, dominantly red. Torito has fought here in the States. Again, winning his last at Staples Center. Fighting out of Modesto, he's two and two at 21 years of age. These guys are not letting up. From the hit of the bell, they have not stopped swinging. Very evenly matched on paper, reach, weight, very similar. Arguably, Jonathan in the black trunks, a little more experience, but again, coming in his first fight here in the States. Both fighters showing equal energy and aggression here. One of the first things you notice is, is the equal ability level and very similar style. Danger Torres, though, starting to dictate a little bit, staying in the center of the ring, a little more experience, although, again, the experience coming from down south. Torres got a cut on the top of the right eye. From that last right hand. Yeah, it looks like uh, Victor Torito Torres in the red trunks is bleeding a bit over the left eye. Of course, nothing to worry about. Referee Rudy Berrigan on top of it. A pretty bad glance on the head. Ten seconds left. Now a lot of blood coming out of... Uh, 
Danger Torres's left eye in the red trunks. Pretty good round one from both fighters. It's hard to say who really uh, pushed the action harder that time. But unfortunately, in the red trunks, in the red corner, Victor Torito, uh, quite a bit of blood now coming. Left eye, they're working on it over there. They're going to have to stop that bleeding on uh, El Torito over there. Again, Rudy Barragan doing a nice job of, of letting the, the round finish. Now he's standing right above, seeing what he's got going. And, you know, it looks like quite a quite a little cut there. Rudy Barragan moving back now, signaling we are going to continue. Looks like Torito's good to go. And we're off round two, Battle of Rising Stars. Oh, now it looks like maybe Rudy's going to take another look at the eye. They're going to let the fight continue. Okay, they're going to let him go, so we're going to go. Round two, Battle of the Rising Stars, and here comes, here comes Victor Torres. I think the eye may be bleeding, but it's not bothering him any. No, not at all. Jonathan Torres, maybe he can take this to an advantage now. Maybe just try and work off that eye. Continue to work the jab. Ooh, nice right connects. For Jonathan Danger Torres in the black trunks. Both fighters going blow for blow here. Jonathan Torres doing a little more of an efficient job of dictating the action, staying towards the center of the ring, trying to keep Danger Torres back. At this point, Victor Torres is controlling the fight entirely. Yeah, he's, he's, he's controlling the action from the center of the ring, and he's sort of challenging uh, Torito Torres to come out and meet him. Torito now throwing some nice punches, but they're not landing. Jonathan covering up nicely there, and, and that seemingly maybe took a little wind out of Torito Torres. Halfway through round two, Ed Holmes, Battle of the Rising Stars. Now again, the blood starting to gush from Torito Torres's left eye. Referee Rudy. Berrigan keeping a close eye on it. Jonathan Torres fighting out of Jalisco, Mexico, is still doing a nice job of controlling the pace of the fight, doing just enough, I think, to edge himself out on the points. Winding down round two now, it's gonna really be up to Victor Torres, the younger fighter, to make a move. Well, I'm not sure. In a way, that, that round might be a win for Victor Torres because he kind of got through the, the eye. He, you know, he's still in the fight, but I don't know. To me, it looks like Jonathan's kind of walking away. What do you see there, JC? Yeah, definitely. You know, it's, it's unfortunate because the eye that cut over that eye, you know, is playing a pretty bad role. You know, it's covering up that, that right eye, that left eye. So, you know, hopefully his corner could uh, be able to control it a little bit more. 
Yeah, you know, it, it probably that. affects you even a little bit mentally, even though you maybe don't want it to. But whatever the case, it seems like Jonathan, you know, controlling the action. How do you have it there, Iron? Well, to me, it was uh, definitely Victor Torres uh, controlling the entire fight. Uh, the aggressor obviously was on his side as well. So uh, I, I can just see that uh, El Torito was just really trying to, you know, stay with it. Yeah, Torito Torres, we're going four rounds. We're into round three right now. You got to think he's going to have to dig maybe a little deeper than he has. Coming out, he's got the experience. He's fought, you know, last fight at Staples Center, and he won against Antonio Cruz. Oh, and there you go. There we go. Big left with the right follow-up by El Torito. How quickly Stunning. things change. Torito coming back, re-energized by that last blow. And you gotta love that, Torito really showing a lot of heart there, coming out big in round three. And definitely at least slowing down Jonathan Torres for the moment. Half of the crowd on their feet here at the Quiet Cannon. Both fighters exchanging blows. Well, for the first time, Torito Torres has started to show the confidence that I think maybe, you know, his eyes started to bleed in the first, and then he took a couple shots in the second, but now he's back in a big way here in the third. Jonathan Torres in the black trunks coming in four and five. Both fighters won their last fights and they're battling it here tonight. Jonathan Torres collect, connects there with a the right and starting to now show that that, that, you know, he saved up a little energy. He kind of went into the defensive there for a minute, and now he's he's coming back out. El Torito just trying to save some energy, keep them arms up. Yeah, Torito put a lot of effort into the beginning of round three. So, again, Jonathan sort of backed off, and now here he comes. Let's see if Torito can finish this round and win this round. Is, ooh, better be careful leaving that head open. Ten seconds. Ooh, nice left jab coming in from Torres. Victor Torres winning over this crowd with that last round. What do you see down there, JC? Yeah, man, you, you see how quickly uh, a, a fighter could change up a fight, you know, that knockdown. No one was probably really expecting it, but, you know, he was able to pull it out, you know, so that had to build some confidence. So leading into this next round, let's see what, what how much confidence that was able to build up for him. Yeah, probably uh, I would have to say, you know, Victor's only issue right now is his eye. He, his energy's fine. His, his fighting style is fine. He's just got that pesky darn eye that keeps bleeding, but... You know, I think it's just all visual. I don't think it's affecting him anymore. Yeah, definitely, definitely, you know, because obviously mentally it didn't affect him. You know, he's still fighting. You know, he's pushing through. He's coming forward. So, um, you know, he, he's just ready to go. Yeah, you can see Victor right now on your screen there coming out of the red corner, and he looks ready to get back in the ring. Final round. Fourth and final round, Battle of the Rising Stars, the Torres brothers. One fighting out of California, one fighting out of Mexico, and here they are tonight.
nice toe to toe action coming into round four. And there is no round five. Nice exchange and look who's taking the center of the ring. Victor Torito Torres. Torres with a triple duck maneuver. Maybe getting a little fatigued to try to come in there for the kill. Torito seeming improving with every round. We had a crowd with the Mexico chants, you know, so obviously they're getting behind uh, Torres from Guadalajara. Crowd very into the fight here in, in, in Quiet Cannon. El Torito trying to grab Torres for a little breather. When you put two Mexicans together, you're bound to get a great fight. <laughs> I'll tell you what, there's uh, obviously a little emotion between both these guys. They're leaving it all out there. I caught him with a nice overhand. And now Jonathan Danger Torres, 4 5 and 1, trying to take him back momentum, trying to find a way to win this fight. Nice right connects for Danger Torres. Thirty seconds left. A lot of swelling on Torres' upper eye. <laughs> Hanging in there though. <laughs> and here comes Danger Torres. He came all the way up from Mexico and he'd like to win this while he's here. But his brother Victor, still on his feet. Very nice final effort by Jonathan Torres. A great end to a bloody match. Well, I'll tell you what, that was a, uh, a sibling rivalry that just started right there. Excellent, excellent effort. You can see here, both fighters have their heads tucked in. And I mean, that doesn't look like two guys that are holding back anyway. I, I don't know what you saw here. I saw two guys just putting it out on the line all four rounds. What a great performance by both fighters. Well, you know, it brings us back to what we were talking about uh, before the fight started this evening. You know, it's great to see this grassroots boxing, the effort, the training, the intensity, and just the all-out heart that you see uh, during these fights. You almost don't even see that at the top levels of boxing anymore. And I think that's, you know, hopefully what some of these young guys that are starting to make it in, in this in this realm, in this world these days, will not only continue what they're doing, but you know, strive to bring the sport back because it is great when it's at that level. And what we just saw right there was a great display of boxing. And, and I think both both fighters ought to be proud of, of their performance here tonight. Absolutely, 100%. So anybody want to call a fight? Apparently not. I don't know what you guys watching there at home think. Again, want to welcome everybody watching on Fight TV. Great to be with you tonight. Hope you're enjoying these great fights from Montebello, California. Ladies and gentlemen, after four rounds of action, once again, let's give both fighters a big round of applause. What a great fight they put on. Ladies 
Ladies and gentlemen, after four rounds of actions, we go to the scorecards. We have our decision. All three judges ringside scored the bout 38 to 37 in favor of our winner by unanimous decision, Jonathan Danger. Well, there you go, in a very close decision, Jonathan Torres comes in with the win. He'll go to five and five, and he takes down his first win on American soil here tonight at Battle of the Rising Stars.